YouTube, welcome back. I'm Lenny Sly, Combative Concepts. We're here at the Road Warrior Training Compound in beautiful Schaumburg, Illinois. Today, we're gonna work on some technique uh, focusing on a Riminage. I'm gonna show a couple variations of that technique with uh, three, four, maybe five different uh, attacks, whether it's a yokaman, a showman, maybe a katate dori technique. We'll, we'll just, uh, we'll make up as we go. We'll make a very beautiful, love and peaceful and, and very harmonizing movement within the Aikido. So, please, sit back, enjoy yourself. I welcome you to enjoy my, my beautiful display of Aikido and follow me down to the Yellow Brick Road of Enlightenment. Come with me, please. Bam, motherfuckers! Well, you got to sit there and do a fucking video like that? You guys are fucking crazy. No way am I gonna bow down to all you fucking negative comment, fucking keyboard, fucking commando naysayers. There's no fucking way. Sorry, not gonna happen. Lenny Sly, combative concepts, road warrior training compound here in Schaubert, fucking Illinois, brothers. This is how we roll, non-stop. Yeah, the grass-eating, tree-hugging, crystal-sniffing, Aikido shit that you saw in the B-roll in the beginning, yeah, that's not me. For all you people out there that want to sit there and comment and, and, and be little fucking pussies about, oh man, this guy has anger management issues. Oh God, man, he must have had a rough childhood. Oh my God, he's, he's, he has major insecurities. And man, he must have had a rough childhood. Some, something traumatic must have happened to him. You know the funny thing is? None of that's happened to me, okay? All you guys got the wrong impression, okay, here. Here's a little cheat sheet for all you fucking assholes out there. I'm not talking about the great fans that I have, the great comments that we get on our channel, the loyal subscribers, the loyal people that we have that, that give us great posts on all of our videos that inspire me to keep doing what I'm doing, which is in the thousands. You handful of idiots out there that want to be keyboard commandos and try to bash what I'm doing, saying, I don't know what I'm doing, and I missed the point about Aikido and this, that, whatever. The funny thing is, I've forgotten more about Aikido than any of you people are ever gonna learn, especially you traditional Aikido people, okay? What you guys don't seem to get is that YouTube, okay, is used for multiple reasons. A, if you don't know how to change the oil on your car. B, installing a gun part. C, learning how to use an iPhone 6, what do you do? You go to YouTube. You watch tutorials on that and see how to do it, right? But the majority of what YouTube videos are is for entertainment purposes. You got that? You got that for all you people that are sitting down, all you fucking 250 pound fucking pieces of shit, chew bubblegum assholes that all you guys can't wait to do is comment on a video like this? This is all directed to you negative fucks. This is about entertainment. Entertainment, my friends, that's what it is. The beginning of that video where you saw me all love, peace, and harmony, and all geeked out, oh, woo -hoo, you know, hey, let's go do this, let's go follow me down the elevator road to enlightenment. Yeah, how fast would you turn me off? I would turn that shit off in five seconds flat. Five seconds flat. Anyways, one thing that I need to address today, okay, the guy that commented on one of my videos, all the subscribers out there and all you viewers out there, the 5.1 million viewers that we have, if you want to sit there and do a scavenger hunt and find this guy's comment, feel free, knock yourself out. This guy comes at me, asks me what my rank is, okay? Wants to know what my rank is, then he goes in his dissertation about this, that, and whatever, then he goes and tells me at the bottom of his thing that he is a Shihan. Okay, and a Kenjitsu sword system. Kenjitsu is practical application of battlefield sword. And he's a fifth on in the Aikikai. Okay, the Aikikai is in Tokyo, Japan. Hombu Dojo. He's a fifth on in the Aikikai. Okay, you want to know what my rank is? Here, I'll tell you what my rank is. Go suck a bag of dicks. That's what my rank is. Okay, plain and simple. You need to get a clue just like everybody else that out there needs to get a clue about the whole rank thing. Okay? <clears throat> doesn't matter what rank you have. It doesn't. Period. Okay? And I'm going to tell you the reason why. I can care less if you're Shodan, Nidan, Sandan, Yonan, Godan, Rokudan, and Aikido, or any martial art for that matter. Okay? <clears throat> if you can't use what you know practically on the street, 
it's worthless, okay? If you have a fifth on an Aikido, okay? A wise person once told me, people don't punch your belt, they punch your face, okay? And if you can't make what you know works at a fifth on, that means that you wasted a lot of time. That your Aikido black belt that's a fifth on means nothing. And it means nothing to me as well, okay? Bottom line, dude, if I had to go toe to toe with you, you wouldn't last 30 seconds with me. People say, oh yeah, you know, he probably wouldn't even use Aikido in a real fight. You're right. I wouldn't use Aikido 100% in a real fight. He said, it's not what I do. It's combative concepts. Here's another cheat sheet for you. How do you think I've gotten so popular on YouTube? How do you, why do you think one of my videos is almost at 70,000 views and it's only a month old? Okay, because I took the Aikido platform and that is basically how I expose myself worldwide, worldwide. That's how I did it. I get messages from Brazil, Kuwait, Dubai, Russia, Italy, London, France, people from all over the United States, Mexico, you name it. There's so many people that contact me every day. The friend request that I get from Facebook is insane. I don't even know how many friends I have on Facebook anymore or the Combative Concepts Facebook page because there's just so many people that message me asking me about my Aikido, thanking me for exposing the truth, thanking me for showing a practical application, and thanking me for the type of presentation that I give. As for the guy with the Shihan credentials in the sword system, dude, that's all swell and fine within the four walls of your dojo. That's great. Boken training, paired, paired Boken practice, Kumitachi, that goes hand in hand with Aikido, hands down. No problem, I get that. Because I can do it too, okay? Am I focusing on that? No, I'm not, why? Because I don't really care, okay? What are you gonna do, Mr. Master Tenjutsu? Are you walking around police in the streets in your hakam and your dogi, holding a samurai sword in, in your in your belt, acting like you're the 48th Ronin. Dude, you did that, you get smoked. Smoked. And the way all this world is coming to you nowadays, if some of you guys haven't seen this and haven't seen national news, okay, yesterday, yesterday here in Illinois, Fox Lake Lieutenant for that police department was murdered. Was fucking murdered. This is what I was talking about in the Aikido, the way that doesn't work, part one. There is no love, peace, and harmony. And all you guys wanna think that there is, there's not. And as for you running around with a sword, playing Last Samurai, go right ahead. Let me show you something. This is my sword. This is the only sword that I need right here, brother. That's it. When the shit hits the fan, and it's coming, this is what I'm gonna have. I'm not gonna have some ancient fucking hundred dollar piece of shit samurai sword in my obi running around the streets like it's fucking Halloween, okay? That's not gonna happen. So, with that being said, stay tuned, I'll be right back. We're gonna show you some Steven Skull Riminage techniques. Sit back and enjoy, people. Back in a minute. Back to reality. Okay, so in the beginning of the video, you saw some B-roll, we call B-roll, of traditional Irimanage technique, okay? And then you saw some practical application, some tension Aikido, after my rant. That is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you those three techniques that we did. We did Yoko Minuji, Irimanage, we did Katate Dori, Irimanage, and we did uh, Push to the Chest, Mune Ski, Iriminaga. So that is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to go into some detail about it so you guys have a better understanding of how Iriminaga works. Okay? Now remember, this is tension Aikido. This is not traditional Aikido. The stuff that you saw in the beginning, that was traditional Aikido and it really wasn't my best traditional Aikido. So uh, I can do it much better. I just chose not to. But you guys can get an idea of how that doesn't really work in the real world, especially. Um, but this video is really geared towards the people that are out there that want to learn how to do 
Seagal Sensei's form of uh, eating minage. So, with that being said, Chris, hi, onigaishimasu. So, the first technique that we're doing is a yoga minuchi, which is a strike to the side of the head. So, as Chris does it, this is where you're going to incorporate your Tai Sabaki. So, if you watched the Tai Sabaki video earlier, uh, it's one of the other videos that I have on, on this channel. This deflection is an ukanagashi suriage deflection. So, ukanagashi, okay, don't push, strike. The striking aspect of this, you want to be able to let this break. So, as this happens, this comes up, okay? So, you transition from here. Here, as it's pushed through, this hand comes up, replaces this, and then as the eating minage comes in, you want to think, I was taught this a long time ago, think of a salt shaker, okay, like you're emptying a salt shaker or pouring salt onto something. So when this happens, this technique, so from here, you push the koshida up as this hand comes right across the neck and drops the person. So down. Okay. It's very important that you push his hips through. Now granted, the power of this comes through this way. This is going to happen naturally when he carries himself through from attack that's intended. Okay, if it's just this, you know, this strike and then you stop, that's, uh, it can work, but the outcome of it's probably not going to be uh, what the, the uge, uge wants because it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. In reality of this, <clears throat> Who cares what happens to somebody on the street when you do a Riminagi with that? Okay, if you have to use this for obviously self-defense purposes, it's really about taking a person center and smashing them in the ground. It's what it's really all about. Um, so with that being said, again, as the strike comes in, remember, knife hand strike. Now you can simulate this if somebody had a stick or a bottle, even a haymaker type of punch. Um, I'm not going to get into that because I, it's going to have to go further into detail. We're going to have to slow things down quite a bit in order for you guys to be able to see the hand deflections because they're rather quick when it's done from that particular type of attack. So as this attack happens, it's this block, this deflection, capture, throw. The koshida pushing this, this is the koshida. What the hell? So as the opening comes, the ukanagashi deflection, the suriyagi deflection. So this has to happen quick. Your hand deflection, secondary hand deflection. Pushing the kosher, which is the back of the hakuma, pushing the hips forward to throw is what makes the technique effective. If the person has a solid stance as you go to strike, you're not going to be able to get this. So you want to be able to draw them in. So if this focus is just here, you're not going to be able to do this. Okay, you have to be able to do this this way, then come to the throw. So your hand transition has to be quick. Uke purposes, the feet come together. So when you go to attack, this way the feet actually point down. The feet come together for ukemi purposes. Okay, because if you're here, that throw is going to hurt a lot when you get racked right across the neck with the fork. So you want to bring your feet together and be able to absorb the fall to go down. So it's the same thing that Chris needs to do when that happens, he attacks, the feet need to come together because this happens fast, okay? So Yoko Minuchi, Hidi Minage, here, throw, okay? So again, one more time. The second technique is Katate dori, wrist grab. Simplest form of attack is katate dori, this wrist grab. Very impractical in the real world, but it's a common everyday occurrence in every Aikido dojo throughout the whole entire world. Katate dori, kosa dori, murote dori, ryote dori techniques, they're used constantly in day-to-day -day practice. And it's great training, absolutely. This particular technique, instead of doing this, coming up from underneath, and trying to grab that, and then you time con and you throw. Eh, I don't know how well that would work, okay, personally in the real world. 
you're not gonna get somebody that's compliant. Remember, you wanna smash them. Okay, you wanna take them out as fast as humanly possible. The ukemi that's used for this is basically to save the uke from serious injury. Okay, if, if it was done where Chris <clears throat> didn't know how to take that ukemi or wasn't taking that ukemi, he's gonna wake up the next day feeling like he has strep throat. Because he's gonna take 200 pounds of power going right across his neck. And that, eh, the next day doesn't feel good. So the idea behind that is to absorb and take the ukemi so he can get back up and practice it again. This particular grab, you want to cut. Don't allow the uke to grab you first. Okay, so this has to cut. Cut. So it's almost like a magic trick. Pull, cut. As that happens, this hand comes behind, hits the koshida, this hand comes right up into the uke and straight down. Okay? So, just showing the hand cut, cut, my hand's already behind here. So quickly, cut, cut, it's right there. You see this, follow, Nick. See my hand, it's right on his lower back. That's where you want to be. So when this happens again, cut, hand is right there. See where I'm at? See how his feet are together? Now as I step through, stay right there. As I step through, he has no other choice but to fall. Because the power that comes down over him, basically it's a tidal wave crashing. That's kind of like the idea. Okay? So again, so cut, move in, there's the throw. Okay? Now it's not this. It's not this. And a lot of people do that shit. This is straight in. I'm already there before he has a chance to recover, before he has a chance to counter. My hand is already in place for the throw. Watch again. It's already there. Again. It's already there. I'm already moving through him. He's like a puff of smoke. Okay? So once the attack happens, bang, boom, there it is. It's that quick. There's no hesitation with this. One more. Okay? So again, cut, move. Right? Cut, move. Right? And you go. Last one from this side. That is Katati Dori, eating me not. The last one is uh, Munetsuki, excuse me, Munetsuki is a punch. <coughs> Mune Dori, which is a grab, or you can say Mune Dori shove. So this is a shove. This is very similar to the Katati Dori where you cut. Katati Dori, where you cut down and you move in. This one incorporates the Kiyage, okay, aka the bitch slap. The Kiyage hand question is this. Okay, if you didn't see that good enough, slow. Slap. Suryage. So it's two hand deflections in one. Just like the Yokuman, Ukenagashi, Suryage, Iriminage, Katate Dori, sorry, Katate Dori, downward Suryage. You're avoiding being grabbed, remember? Don't get punched, grabbed, kicked, or taken to the ground. That is like our four main core principles of Tenshi and Aikido. So the Mune Dori, slow, this Kiyage movement, as that happens, this hand is already moving. It's not one, two, three, four. It's one motion, so it's one. So I'm already there. The technique already happens, okay? So if you come around, Nick, walk around. If you come around on this, you can see how this works. Boom, I'm right there. I'm already in line with the throw, right? I'm already in line. It's very similar to Katate Dori. Here, I'm already in line. Mune Dori, already in line. It's a faster application because of the intent behind the attack. Okay? So Mune Dori, I'm already there. Okay? Mune Dori, right side. I'm already there. Mune Dori, I'm already there. Number 
It's about distance, balance, and timing. I'm already here. Then I can move in and I can throw. Okay? If I'm late, I get shoved. Notice how in the Tyson Bakke video I was showing this, where I was slapping, slapping the shoulder. The timing aspect, right? See, there it is. Boom. We'll oh. destroy it. Okay, one more. Now, you have Kosador eating minage, you have Kowski eating minage, Shomenuchi eating minage. There's a combination of techniques where you can start off doing Kosador into Nikyo, turn it out into a minage. Chris, let me show that real quick. Just to walk through this Kosador Nikyo. So Kosador Nikyo, Nikyo, boom, cut. Iminage. Okay? Again. Koso Nikyo. Cut. Iminage. One more time. So, Nikyo. Iminage. Kowski. Slow. From here, this is dangerous because I don't like the way this one works. This is the application of this. So, I actually use the Kiyage application of that in the video. Okay, I incorporate that in, where you have the punch, you have that deflection. Obviously that punch is quick, so it's going to have to move back. Okay? Then you have variations of kick punch, ryokata dori, ryote dori, techniques from behind, Yoshida Waza techniques. The list goes on and on and on. Okay, those are the three that I was going to show you tonight. Yokomunuchi iriminage, Ketate dori iriminage, Mune dori iriminage. So, that pretty much sums it up with our video. I'm Lenny Sly, Combative Concepts. You're watching the Rogue Warrior channel. We're here tonight at the Rogue Warrior Training Compound in Chicago, Illinois. Like our videos, subscribe to our channel, comment, please comment, you know, I already talked about that earlier. Feel free, say whatever you want, honestly. I get a big kick out of the people that are naysayers. And for all you people out there that want to sit there and see us spar and do this and do that, you know, once again, it's never gonna fucking happen, okay? It's just not. You want to spar, jump on the first thing smoking, come to Chicago, and we can spar. You and me, we'll spar because I'm not fucking afraid of any one of you guys. You guys don't have any clue what I'm capable of doing. But, it's better to have friends than enemies, but if you want to be that person that wants to be my enemy, go right ahead. Because I can give a shit. I really can. So, it's your call. Um, the upcoming videos that we're going to be doing, I'm doing a part two on Steven Seagal's Aikido Rondori, Nage Waza Part 2. I've had people ask me about Yubi Dori, which are finger lock techniques. Um, I have a guy that asked me about a diet, okay? Because I used to be an amateur bodybuilder. I will be doing a video on that as well. Some people have asked me about escapes. Uh, some people asked me about, about a bunch, bunch of other techniques. Practical application of how to escape from the last chokehold video that we did. There's a lot of stuff that we need to do. There's a lot of videos that I'm still going to do, be doing. It's just that they're going to be coming in a timely fashion. They're not all going to happen right away. So please bear with me. This takes a while to, to produce these videos. Um, with that being said, Lenny Sly, Combative Concepts, Rogue Warrior Academy in Schaumburg, Rogue Warrior Channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.
Fuck, I got it.